so like can you tell me when the when like you're getting finishing up because like I know you guys are all f fancy free and having fun but I have to get up in the morning so <laughs> the, the, we'll finish the session soon for you crow we'll look we'll look out for you okay okay after we do the skeletal house and then the rest <laughs> of the bingo goals we'll call it a night yeah so okay. after we beat we beat two more temples and then get the compass of the third one and then maybe maybe the beans I don't know Wait, we'll figure we... it out we'll play it by ear that's like four hours. Yeah, I mean that, that'll give you a good, you know, maybe one or two hours of sleep. So you'll be good. you'll be okay. I don't know how long it'll take. Um. <laughs> uh, um. So, yeah. So we talked a little bit about what Bingo's are. Uh, mm -hmm. They they're not played so much for Majora's Mask. Just uh, I guess it's yeah. just like a well Majora's Mask thing. speed running is not really that big, so. I don't know, but uh, yeah, they're not played so often in Majora's Mask, and that means like a lot of the goals that were, were um, mm -hmm. like the goals are just like arbitrary goals made up by people. Mm -hmm. And for Majora's Mask, especially, they're not uh, balanced super great. So the the timings yeah. for actually finishing a full bingo it will vary. So, like, the theory behind this is that, like, everybody will, like, they'll have a bingo race where everybody will race the same bingo board. No, you get a different one. No, oh, everyone has the same, yeah, everyone gets the same board, but they don't necessarily choose the same row or column. Right, yeah. so, it's all, so the theory is that if you, if you pick your rows and your columns correctly, you can win every time. Yeah, or, like, well, you know the, what it, I mean? Yeah, that's, it's especially like that image mask because it's so misbalanced, like. Yeah. Um, like, the way they balance the goals is, again, it's just, like, human decision right. and it was all done before even the the new owl so song of soaring glitch was found yeah. so that breaks a whole lot of like it misbalances a whole lot of goals that you can do so, that yeah. um, like, but any, anyways uh, what i was getting at is that um you don't start from just like where i started obviously but a typical mm -hmm. oh no what good um, night everybody oh god this <laughs> Like this isn't isn't something he added in post. This is literally happening right now what on the our stream. <laughs> tonight, Oops. tonight is the night. Oh my god. Okay, okay, everyone, we're back here. Uh, some stuff's different. I've probably got different items and and stuff like that because I had to redo that section since I last saved because the game crashed. I want to open <laughs> this door. Okay, we're good now. Yes. All right. No idea why that happened. That's not a typical thing I'm familiar with. I know a lot of ways this game can crash. Walking through doors is not one of them. <laughs> At least, I didn't think so. I guess I'm wrong about that. It's a Japanese-only glitch. <laughs> In this English version, yeah. The reverse curver, curver, the reverse Coover door slide shortcut cancel, they call it. They call that the, the game skip, because you skip actually finishing the game. <laughs> Hey, softlock is technically any percent completion, right? <laughs> You've reached an end state where you can't input anything else. That's what completed the game means, right? Uh, something like that. All right, what's you the random it, combination? Oh, I don't know. It, it'll be um, based. It's it, it's random based on when you start your file. Yeah. Is there anything important? It's a hard piece behind there, right? Yeah, it's just a hard piece. Yeah. What's the way to, to actually find out that combination? Is there some text box you have to... Yeah, you get the captain's hat, you talk to all these guys. Okay, yeah. I'll tell you the order. Is it one of those puzzles that only enables, like, you can only beat it after you retrieve the captain's hat, or can you legitimately guess it? I mean, you could guess it. It would, might just take a while. It's it's mm -hmm. six pot, like six choices. Yeah. And they can repeat, so it's, it's lots of different possibilities. I'll say, I'll say, I, th I did thought, I, I did think it was the same for all cards. Like, I don't know why I had that in my head, but I did. Also, I missed the Skullsula in this room. I don't remember what it is. I do know, like, in Wind Waker, a lot of the random numbers are based on your console ID, so. Oh. It, yeah, it's not that. It is random. Like, it's random when you start the file. Hmm. But. Like, the, the password you have to enter and to get on the, to enter the door on the ship. That's based on your console ID. It's not oh, based okay. on your file. Right. I remember. I think I remember which one I forgot. 
Yeah, this one, okay. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned the main young people. Yeah, when they're in the pots like that, you can actually hit the wall next to the pots and that gets them out. Oh! I didn't know that. Yeah, that's what I did there. Is that, like, intended? Oh, I have no idea. Um, I think it's probably some weird programming thing where mm -hmm. it's just like they, they check to see if you've, like, hit something near it. Yeah. Like, there's maybe not that specific hitbox hit for it. The hitbox expands, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure on that one. 100%. I recently learned that there's this really weird... Like, I sent you the link to the wiki, right, of MZX rules modifying a lot of stuff on New Year's Eve, because that's all he does. <laughs> yeah, I didn't understand, like, what do you change, but yeah. Yeah. Apparently, like, there's a really weird you know drama in the major in the Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask um, community, because I was just reading through, like, the edits on the wiki, and, like, there's apparently three different competing wikis, and they all have different users, and they've all pissed each other off. And they're all flaming each other on everybody's different wiki. It's kind of silly. That's weird, I haven't heard about that. No, I just, like, saw it. There's, like, admins on both wikis are, like, flaming each other on the other ones, like, on the opposite wiki. So there's, like, a, a wiki from a guy called the Galt Spinout 182. And there's a wiki called Cloud by a guy by the name of Cloud Mod. And they're basically flaming each other, telling each other that they're shit. They're, like, 13-year-olds talking about Majora's Mask modding. It's kind of funny if it wasn't so sad. Yeah, that's weird. Alright, there you go. Yeah, okay, tokens. another bingo goal. You only needed 15, by the way. But... I know, but since I have to get everything anyways... Mm -hmm. And we get... Ah, oh, useless. Land title. Hey, you could complete another bingo goal with this, which is Gold Rupee from Akana Business Scrub. Oh, there you go. Is that what that one is? No, land title is... I thought that was I thought that was the Akana. I don't remember. One you handed to the Akana one was that. Although no, no, was... if are the land titles randomized in and of themselves, or if giving that one could give you another item. Was that you kind of trolled off? Um. Is are the land items only randomized within themselves, or could you give that to another? You know, Deku scrub to get a random, completely random item globally. Oh no no, they're, they're, you can get them wherever. Right, oh, so if you handed that item in, you might get, like, the mirror shield. Not the mirror shield. You might get, like... You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can get a lot of different stuff. Uh, I, you know what I totally forgot to mention? Um, uh, Court of the Bible's not here anymore. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have to go to bed, which you might have heard if Dr. Kill didn't edit that one out. Yeah. Um, I guess it's a little bit late, I guess, for him. A little bit. And so he's gone now. So we'll just finish up this session with just me and Dish. Mm -hmm. Scared him off with all the um, WWE wrestler dev DeviantArt fan fiction. Wrestling has always confounded me because it has such a... It's so, yeah, like, I don't understand no, it. It's no, what, so bizarre. No, what, what I don't understand is that it actually has, a, a, like, a surprisingly diverse uh, fan group. Like, the, yeah. the people who like wrestling are some are almost all the time, like, people I would never expect to be into wrestling. Yeah, like, I'll just, I'll just have, like, a friend that we've known each other for years, and all of a sudden I learned that Lee, he's, like, really into wrestling. I'm like, what? O okay. Yeah. Like, you just never know. It's so great. Yeah, I, but, I, like, I've never seen, like, a single episode of wrestling, so I, I never understood it. So yeah, like, it's basically, you have to imagine it like an action opera is basically what it is. I, I guess or so. An action play or something. Because it's like, it's totally scripted, right? Although it does take some skill and like huge amounts of stamina in order to do. But like everything's scripted. Everything is like its own custom universe. It's really weird. And there's nothing else like it, but I just can't find myself attached to it. <laughs> I don't know. I've just never tried. I, I, I just... It's always weird to me that it just pops up in, like, the strangest places. Like, I, I follow a lot of, like, webcomic people, and a lot of them like it. Um, <laughs> sometimes uh, some LPRs will just start talking about it, and I'm like, what the heck? Yeah. That's just funny to me. But yeah. <laughs> so, and it's, uh, actually, it's actually related to Zelda, because uh, Goron Wrestling in Skyward oh, yeah. Sword. That's so it's, princess. It's, not even not to it's not even off topic. The one, the one mini game that you actually cannot play if you speedrun Twilight Princess. <laughs> they lock you out of it entirely by doing backwards in time. 
It's so <laughs> dumb. Have I, I don't think I've ever said, like, in a video how ridiculous Twilight Princess speedrunning is. But it's basically, like, the game is so weirdly programmed that you could skip through something, but skipping through that thing will just lock you out of a completely unrelated trigger. So we have to, like, find more and more ways to get past that unrelated trigger. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know too much about it, but you have told me a lot about it. Yeah. So, like, there's this weird chain of events where you can skip the, like, introductory 30 goddamn minutes of tutorial using a trick known as Backward Back in Time, where you'll, like, spawn in the title screen save file, and that gets you there, but Back in Time locks you out of something else. So you have to use, like, you can't progress the game normally at some point because it thinks you already completed the Forest Temple when you did- <gasps> That's right! Since you have the sword and shield in your person- <laughs> Minna will, like, say you don't have the sword and shield, so it'll push you back away from the thing where it says you have to go push your sword and shield. So you have to, like, lure a Maboblin so you can jump across it and get it, like, pixel-perfect jump over the trigger where Minna says that. <laughs> and then from, like, there you do a trick called Early Master Sword, so you get the Master Sword early, it tells you to warp at any time. But that locks you out of Goran Rustling, so you have to just skip the Fire Temple entirely, which means you don't get the bow. And you don't unlock that, so you... I could go on and on. It's really ridiculous. Yeah. And the funniest thing is that if you... When people were initially speedrunning it, they found that by doing all these tricks, they are actually wasting more time than they saved. It turned out that <laughs> if you speedrun normally, it just saved more time than doing this amazing pile of tricks. <laughs> um, there was eventually one breakthrough discovered like two years ago after everybody stopped speedrunning Twilight Princess, where now you can get the the like the the speedrun down below that time. But everybody just agreed to run the glitch here out anyway because it was more fun than doing it normally. Yeah, yeah, I can't. <laughs> so like it. everybody who was like getting world records in that game was not actually getting the world record because speedrunning it normally would be faster. <laughs> it was. I think it was, like, at a, a time, like, nobody runs Twilight Princess now, but it was a time before... No, there's, uh, there's some people running, like... It got like, really serious. I think, I think there was a new... Re re damn it. I think there was a new world record, like, a month ago? I don't know. Oh, yeah, there's still a few people who speedrun it. But... This was also, like, way back before, like, real speed... Like, there was a separate speedrunning oh and glitch, glitch hunting community for Zelda. Like, you're probably way before any of this, but, like, there was a... Back in, like, 2007, 2008, there was, like, a huge drama where, like, one of the major glitch hunters in the community, her name was Sexy Zora 19 got in a huge feud and, like, left forever. Wow. Yeah, I don't know about all that old stuff. I'm actually relatively new to, like, yeah. all this stuff. The person who pissed her off was a guy by the name of Mr. Potter, who eventually rebooted his, his personal brand into, and you know what he became? PewDiePie. That was PewDiePie, everyone. No, it was, it was Paraxade, actually. Who might, he might be a little bit too early for your time, if you don't know of Paraxade. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. He used to do Zelda speedruns and Zelda glitch hunting. Now he does, he did Sonic for a little bit, now he's just like breaking Metroid Prime or something. Hmm. So that was today's episode of Old Internet Drama. Yeah, yeah, I love it. It's With fun. me and Dish. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I really don't know about it. Like, like I said, I, um, I've been part of a, the community, I guess, whatever you call it, since yeah. what, I guess 2014, mm -hmm. which is again pretty new, relatively yeah. speaking. A lot of the people who are even still around finding stuff, they've been around for years. Yeah, I, I, I linked a few people in the in the thread, like uh, glitches mm. and stuff, which I think we might have mentioned in a video. He's been there for. He's been years. around since like 2007, 2008. Yeah, Kazooie has been in the community since like 2003, four. Yeah, he. I haven't seen that one around so much though. Yeah, Kazooie kind of left. There, are, there's a few others who sort of came and gone. Like MZX is still around, but he's not doing that much glitch yeah, hunting. He, yeah, he doesn't do like speed runs, but he does glitch a whole lot. Yeah, well, he doesn't do that much glitching anymore. He mostly well, just oh like, yeah, I should say like yeah, uh, uh, screwing with the programming or whatever. Yeah, yeah, he's like the guy who finds all the interesting programming. He's the he's, pro the he's the program the, fucker. Yeah. I'm trying uh, to remember, like, who else is there. I'll have to go to Zelda speedruns. It used to be Cosmo, excuse me, not Co Cosmo Narcissa or whatever. 
Yeah. Can't remember her new name. Yes, yeah, um, And Nar Narissa? Narcissa, that was right. Narcissa, okay. Oh, zeldaspeedruns.com is like saying it's an application error. I can't actually view the site anymore. Oops. <laughs> so I was going to yes. go like there to check. It's down on um, But it used to be, uh, Akrite used to be more involved. That guy was fun. Um, who else? I think Max wrote the site that's broken. So I blame him for everything. Yeah. Alright, so I'm in Snowhead to yep. finish. We're gonna try to do some more bingo stuff. I have fire arrows that makes this a lot easier. <laughs> mm -hmm. That makes everything just so much shorter. Of course. Uh, I don't... I don't really see it necessary to get all the fairies again. I don't think I could show off anything new there. Mm -hmm. And I don't really need the double magic because I can get infinite magic basically whenever. Yep. So... I'll, I will, I guess, oh, um, I'll try to fight this guy as a Goron. One of the things, uh, like I showed off, you can do with the, it's way easier with Infinite Sword. But when he starts doing his second phase, which he'll do after this punch, if you time your, like, your Goron pounds and stuff, mm -hmm. you can actually, like, prevent it. Yep. Because, um, I missed it there, but the Goron pound actually has, like, a pretty long, like, a hitbox. Like, it has a... Hitbox that lasts a really long time. They never really use this whiz rope design for anything. This is a really weird design compared to the rest of the games. You think? I don't know. I mean, I guess I can sort of see that. Like, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and Ocarina of Time all have the same whiz rope design. They just did this once and then said, nope, that was awful. <laughs> Can't see what we oh. got. I oh, think yeah, we right. got the Kamaro mask. I don't think we had that before. I don't think so either. We can get that heart piece, I guess. Yeah. That's, that's about it. Because that's, yeah, the Kamara Mask does not give you any item. So, well. Oh well. That's okay. Uh, and then, then, you said compasses, right? Yeah, so the the goal is technically three compasses. Uh, I'm probably not going to hit that, but I can still no. play and get this compass. <laughs> I mean, this is it for the item in this place, so all you have to do is get the boss remains, right? Yeah, and I'll do that. Yeah. So, uh, that's still almost a, a full bingo. Uh, mm -hmm. So, like I said, I will say it's not, like, typical to just start out with items you already have for a bingo like that. Yeah, yeah. Normally, uh, they do start from after the first cycle, so you don't have to do all that. Normally, yeah. you're supposed to start from nothing. However, you know, in a, in a randomizer, you can't really control for a whole lot of things. Right. I do think the concept of bingo is certainly interesting because it requires a lot more thinking than usual. Yeah, it's, it's really, it's really good. And then in Majora's Mask, it's particularly hard because when oh, I didn't do that. Uh, like I said, it starts off after first cycle, mm -hmm. so it skips all that. But that means you can start right. playing right away. So you only have like right. um, a few seconds to actually start determining like your route right. or like what goals you want to go for. You don't have a very long time to like decide and start working towards stuff. Right. Whereas in Ocarina of Time, typically you have... You start from a blank file, so you have the opening cutscene to like think about mm -hmm. the goals you want to do. So yeah. it actually creates like a different uh, like dynamic, I guess. Mm -hmm. Have for... there been any um, Majora's Mask puzzle races? Oh yeah, you... There's been a That's few. That's right. There, there's been a few. You mentioned the trick for one, which you didn't actually show off yet. Trick, technically, quote unquote, but. Oh yeah, I, I probably could have. <laughs> <laughs> it's a feature that I didn't know existed, and yeah. I don't think a lot of people know existed. But I won't say what it is yet, so it'll just be mysterious. Until, it'll be until I get to it, which which might be never, because I might forget. <laughs> I'll just, just get to mention at the end of every session. Oh yeah, we should have done that thing. Yeah, like we're on the moon. Best. Like oh yeah, we should have shown off that cool thing. A thing. And it's the bomb boost over that. And now we're already pretty much done with Snowhead. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it. But I will fight a uh, goat differently. Like before I did a bunch of... Mm -hmm. I did it kind of weirdly. Yeah. I like used the Great Fairy Sword and stunned it. But that's not uh, the best way to fight it. Definitely not the most ideal way. 
So I'll show off um, the way they do it in a typical speedrun. Well, once I get to it. Can you just fight the board boss normally for one sake? <laughs> speedrun oh, this, speedrun that, you kids. What are you doing? I forget how this. There's a way. Oh yeah, if you stand here and mm -hmm. put a bomb to, I think it'll explode all the boulders. Oh, not that one. You Americans just wanted to go through everything. Let me just sit down and enjoy a goddamn boss fight for once. <laughs> I tell ya. Uh, I, was, I wonder if it's worth trying to do the cutscene skip. <laughs> nah, I won't worry about it. Um, you can store stuff. Like I showed this off again in the, in the LP. I did it with Gyrek. Mm. Um, if you store a song of time and and like use that on a boss, or like you can save while you're collecting yeah. the the mask, and it skips the mm -hmm. the final cutscene of the dungeon. But uh, I guess I won't do it. I won't worry about it right now. I mean, you can store it when you're in the boss room, right? Or no? You have to do it before you, you go in, and you have to bring up the text box before you kill the boss. Okay, I thought you could void out from that room, but I guess I'm wrong. No, or you might be able to, but it's like easier to do it elsewhere. Yeah. Took me a while to get that boss key skip, but yeah, it's not too hard. I just do like a diagonal input mm -hmm. to get the direction. And well, I'll just tell so you, you're, uh, you're definitely not going to fill out column 2 or row 3, which has a uh, snowhead boss key as one of the bingo items. No, I skipped right by that. Okay, so I'll, uh, I'll mark that as red on the chart here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know, so we're not going to be able to finish the bingo, but we finished maybe half of a bingo, sort of. Yeah. Well, with, a, with, yeah a with, a, with a head start, so... No, you're actually mostly there. So you got two boss remains. You got all top row songs. You got 15 Ocean Sky Skulltulas. The remaining ones are 20 magic beans for this row and three temple compasses. I can maybe do the beans, but it's, it'll just be tedious. Anyways, so typically... Dude, we don't even know what beans it, are, is the problem. In a, so in a speed run, you just stand here, shoot him. Like this. I, I, I is that because you're, you're too far away from him for his actor to be... Like loaded? No, he's still loaded. Um. All right, so that's okay. That was actually pretty good. I don't usually. It's not mm -hmm. usually so successful for me. But wow. what happens is that you um you stand far enough away so that he doesn't start charging at you. Mm -hmm. But he do, he does try to shoot the lasers, and you just sort right. of um, manipulate him missing the laser. You like manipulate where he shoots the lasers so they do, so they miss you, and you can just keep shooting okay. him. And cool. the way you do it, uh, he actually crashes against the wall right next to you so you don't have to walk that far to the blue warp mm -hmm. so that's actually like a little bonus that's nice that's why it's the fastest way it, it kills him faster than like rolling around his goron and when he dies he's right next to you so you only have to walk like two feet to the blue warp mm -hmm. so it's a it's a, it's a it's a pretty cool strategy it's um like i think it's a little like the way i, I think the the way i did it in the main lp is a little bit more interesting i guess just because like i think it's funnier to just jump slash him with a sword a whole bunch after like knocking him to the ground. But yeah, that's okay. a that's a typical strategy for beating goat. And uh, it's actually it's not like crazy precise, but yeah, I had to stand in a specific spot on the floor to do that. I just stand uh, in just right spot so that I can still shoot him with arrows, but without being so so in the open that he would start charging at me or shooting lasers wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you also got this one here, which is Goat's Remains in row two and column five. There you go. Mock that one as green. <laughs> Keeping track, okay? All right. Uh, yeah, I think once this cutscene's done, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm going to save the owl statue again. And hopefully uh -oh. it won't crash this time. Uh, just in case, I would also do a song in time. Unless you don't want to, like... Yeah, see, that's really the thing. Uh, the problem is, I want to keep the spring here just in case yeah I, I don't know if i'm gonna need it honestly well you can quickly warp to the boss in any case and do it again oh yeah but i don't want to have to do something like that i'm just worried about the game crashing again if it does honest. i'll just have to redo that everything again and i'll complain That's, about it even it'll more it'll be your own damn fault if that yep, happens it'll be oops but yeah so this is gonna be the end of the session yeah so uh i know it's a bit unusual the way I did it, uh, 
we still accomplish some stuff, and I try to do a little bit extra on the way. Uh, yeah. I'll probably do different, have different goals the next mm -hmm. time. Uh, if uh, people thought it was interesting that I was trying to go for this, I don't know, we'll see. Yep. But yeah, that'll be the end of here. Um, so thanks for watching, everyone. All right.